Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today on our Thursday episode of the Daily What the Fuck. Today's video is going to be a little different. Instead of having two large What the Fuck stories, we're going to have four smaller What the Fuck stories that um, I'll have the links in the description if you want to read more about them. Um, and I'll reiterate that at the end of the video, but let's get started, shall we? Our first story is about a New Jersey man who thought he'd get back at cops for what they had done to him in the past. I'm not entirely sure what they had done to him in the past, but he thought he had a clever idea and that the cops wouldn't find out about him. He's a cook in New Jersey. So one day the cops came in and he recognized these cops. And so, you know, he gave him a sandwich, except this sandwich was filled with his chest hair and pubes. 15 days in jail. Rightfully so. Couldn't, you could do something a little less noticeable, like spit in their sandwich. That's normally the usual of what people do when they want to get back at someone and they're a cook. People notice when there's hair in their sandwiches, especially if it's curly. But you're a jerk off for wanting to get back at police in the first place, so... You're getting what's coming to you. Our second story comes to us from Maine, where a bait shop is getting robbed by a very, very interesting uh, person. For the past couple of days, a minx, not a minx, a mink, has been breaking into this shop, into this bait shop, going into the fish tanks, killing the fish, and then stacking them on top of the filter for later collection. The first time the owners caught him and they shoot him out and they just threw away the fish, I suppose. But he struck again. This mink. He's a smart little mink. Never underestimate animals. They're feisty little bastards. He came back and he did pretty much the exact same thing. They think it was the same minx. I need to stop saying minx. It's a mink. It's just a funny story to tell your friends. Oh yeah, my shop's getting robbed by a mink. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Mink is like an otter, kind of. This next story is from NBC News. You know those bad-tasting candy hearts with messages on them? Well, a 12-year-old girl found one, and <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the honesty of the company for putting this on an actual candy, but... <laughs> Being that blunt with a woman isn't going to get you much respect, especially when the candy says nice tits. I just thought that was funny, so I wanted to include it, but, um... <laughs> never give a woman a candy that says nice tits. It's, it's... <laughs> you guys are all idiots. And in science news, scientists have discovered that parrots are left-handed. Parents don't have hands. I think I said parents. But parrots also do not have left hands. Parents don't have left hands, they're predominantly right-handed. Smack a bitch, come on. You mean you've never gotten bitch slapped by your mom? Damn. You guys are lucky. Hey, I don't know how this proves useful to anything. People have way too much time on their hands if they're studying whether parrots are left or right winged. It just seems like you could be spending your time on something a little more meaningful to society, like, um... Curing cancer? Or, or how about them AIDS? Yeah, you could get rid of that. That'd be helpful. Or, you know, fix schizophrenia, um, depression, bipolar, anything. Don't find out whether animals are left or right-handed. It proves absolutely no worth to the human race. Albeit a little amusing to know that my parrot that I don't have and is made up in my mind that keeps me company at night when I'm so very alone in my bed is left-handed. Anyway, thank you for watching today's episode. I hope you like these four little news stories. I will have the links in the description if you want to read more about them. If you liked what I was talking about today, you can comment down in this area. I'm wearing jeans today so you can put them in my pockets, and I won't care. Just don't go too far deep into the pockets. I don't think I'd like that. So don't put your comments too far deep in my pocket. Put them around, I don't know, the not very far deep in part. Also, don't put them in my back pocket. Perverts. If you like what I'm talking about, subscribe. This is going to be my new method of telling everyone to subscribe. Subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow.